Hey guys, I'm going to do a 10 watt solar panel review. Right now it's powering up these three LEDs. Two here and this one. And we're at peak power now. Heat sinks are nice and hot. I have it outside because I, you know, I wanted to run it for about a month. And, uh, you know, see how it holds up before I do a review. Of course, it's really still considered new. And I wanted to wait till we had a peak power day. Right now, it's a very deep blue sky, low humidity. It's pretty cold outside, so we should get a decent um, power output from this panel. Okay, I'll go bring it in here and continue with the review. And here it is. It's Like I say, it's a 10-watt panel. Fennel Corporation. Got it off of eBay for $20 plus shipping. Got it out of Chino, California. It's, it's kind of funny. It's the uh, same location I got the uh, Sun Solar USA panel from. I don't know if it's the same address or not, but same city at least. And, uh, you know, it's your typical solar panel, just a small size. It's about, it's a little less than a foot in each direction, about 30 centimeters. And, you know, it has the little aluminum frame and the junction box on the back. Here's the specs. 10 watts. Well, if you, you can pause the video if you want to look at the specs. Uh, these panels typically, you know, your 12 volt panels will typically put out around 18.6 volts, somewhere around 18, 19 volts at max power, at, or say peak power. And it's a, it's a monocrystalline panel. It seems to be a decent quality. A little bit, you can see a little bit of shifting of the placement of the individual voltaic cells there. I think my other panel construction looked like it was a bit better. I mean, as far as placement, it doesn't seem to affect anything, though. Now, this panel is not really meant for permanent installation. I mean, you could if you want. They didn't give you the standard MC4 type cable. It's just a, it's about a 3 meter or roughly 15 foot cable. It came with one of those barrel type jacks on the end, which I cut off. So I could just uh, gator clip it onto my LEDs, which of course they're off now because the panel is out of the light. And um, another difference is it has the junction box if I can get the cover off. It's not gasketed or screwed down or anything like my other one was. And you know this is not really sealed that well. So you have to kind of be careful with that if you do mount it outside. And I have to get that in the groove. It has like a um, little groove you have to line that cover on and it snaps closed but being underneath of the panel it shouldn't have a problem getting wet now if you're going to buy a small panel for like you know keeping batteries charged I recommend this kind you know just stay away from those cheap plastic fold up things I and mean, this is meant to deal with the weather you know, it's got tempered glass aluminum frame it's not going to you know fall apart on you it's meant to be out in the weather well those other ones you know you flex them around the wires can break you could actually you know damage the uh, especially those amorphous ones you could break the glass it's probably not tempered like this is so I highly recommend this and uh, what about maximum power? Well, I just measured it. It's not having such a good day for uh, solar paneling, as I call it. I measured 10.9 watts out of this thing. Probably not quite at maximum power. I, I would think I could get at least 11 and a half, maybe 12 watts. Well, 12 might be stretching it a little bit, but... 
certainly under ideal conditions you can get more than its uh, rated wattage in fact my 30 watt sun solar usa panel today i measured it at 34 watts hey hey what do you want <laughs> i think it's feeding time for the kitty uh, the other day well what about two three weeks ago i got 32.4 watts from that panel i've had that panel for a year and a half it's been outside in the summer heat and sub-zero temperatures and it's holding up really well again that's a sun solar usa it came with this uh, performance graph and uh this one did not come with that so i was kind of hoping they would provide that but you know it's no big deal to measure it check it yourself so i'm actually getting better than their measurement i think i'm doing so well because it's very cold out today and when the uh solar voltaic cells are cold they actually perform better i think that's what's going on well i guess that's about it this one to uh, review this 10 watt panel nice small compact size oh one thing i should mention if you do use it to uh you know trickle charge you know top off your batteries in a boat or something car or boat or whatever um it does not have and i gotta clean my bench off it has a bypass diode right there but it does not have a blocking diode so with you know direct with batteries you want to add a blocking diode i would not recommend direct charging these types of batteries because the high voltage tends to you know cause these batteries to start gassing you can actually hear the boiling inside of them a larger battery probably not a problem if you want to charge these smaller batteries i would recommend putting some sort of voltage regulator and regulating it down to 13.8 or so volts okay now i'm done and once again thanks for watching